have you ever gone through that situation where you've gone through some sort of hardship? You called a friend, you try to talk through the situation, and they're like, oh, I totally understand. And you're like, no, you don't. I, don't try to don't try to sympathize with me in that way. You don't quite get it. Or maybe you had some sort of uh, physical hardship where all of a sudden, you, I mean, you're in extreme pain and a person's, oh yeah, I just strained a muscle the other day. I totally understand. You're like, no, you, you don't get, you don't understand. And you realize you just kind of shut down to them. You stop talking to them about the situation because they're trying to oversympathize with you. And you're like, you don't understand me. You don't get it. I think sometimes... That's how we are in our relationship with Jesus as well. My name is Trent Jenkins and privileged to be able to be here with you on the Daily Dose. And as we're taking a look at at this element of Christmas, Emmanuel, God with us, there's that element of do we understand that he's with us and can we identify with him? And I think there's that element in our relationship with him. A lot of times it's hard to identify with him. He's, He's the king of the universe. He created us So how can you understand what it is that I go through here in this world, the temptations, the trials, the pains, the hurts, when you're God? So how do I identify with you? How do you identify with me? I think the Christmas story helps us with that element. I want to go to a passage that maybe isn't familiar for Christmas, but it's Philippians chapter 2. And it says, In your relationships with one one another, have the same mindset as Christ Jesus who being in the very nature of God, did not consider equality with God something to be used uh, to his own advantage. Rather, he made himself nothing by taking the very nature of a servant. And in Luke chapter 2, verse 12, it says, Here's a sign to you. You'll find a baby wrapped in clothes, lying in a manger. Now, a baby being wrapped in clothes, they all got wrapped in clothes. But what's unique is finding him in a manger. And a manger is essentially a feeding trough for all the animals, the cattle, the goats, the sheep. It's where all the slobber and cud ends up being there when they go in to take a bite of their next thing of food. It's where the rats would go to be able to find food for themselves. And this, this is where he was placed. Sure, they put some straw in there and you know we romanticize it and make it somehow look good for the Christmas story. But this is a stinky element, a, a not a great place. A doctors today would not consider this a sanitary place to place a baby. And this is where he was. And when we think about it, it's like, this is God. He, he can end up creating any situation that he wants. He moved world authorities to create a census so that they had to leave Nazareth and go to Bethlehem for him to be born. And that way he's fulfilling all the prophecies of the Old Testament. Surely God could have arranged a place for Jesus to be born. I mean, there's family there. They could have sent a note. Hey, we've got a spot for you on 10th and I. Just come, look for the guy in the red robe and we'll take you to it. No, that's not what took place. Surely there was a reservation already set for him in an inn. No, that's not what took place. I mean, Jesus says, hey, to his disciples, go and there will be a donkey for you in Jerusalem. Just go and get it. I mean, he makes these crazy reservations for himself with an Uber of a donkey. Why can't he do that with an Airbnb as well? That's not what takes place. There's no room for him. And so he has to get placed into a feeding trough. I've had the chance to be able to travel around the world and in India You're walking through the city streets or these towns and you see this what looks like mud and water and you realize that this this is just really a sanitation system and you walk up to this adobe house and there this is a straw on the ground where people are are sleeping and these are the poorest of the poor. The goat is tied up in the corner and it really makes me think of, this is probably a lot of the similar situation where Jesus was born. He's born amongst the poor. So he can always say, no, I get it. I understand what you're going through. Yeah, I get it that I'm Jesus, that I'm God, but I came as the least so I could understand every situation. And he understands your situation. And Emmanuel, God with us, means that he's with you. He gets you. He understands you. So this Christmas, go to him with your needs, your wants, your desires. Because God is with you and he understands you. Have a great day.